Is Tana better than Notion? Let's find out. You'd be surprised to learn that no, that was not a sound effect. That's how loud I slurped. So for those of you that don't know, Tana is the everything OS. Uh, I made a video on it uh, over a month ago talking about how uh, they were kind of being slow with getting people access. And then magically within the day of me making the, the video on it, I got access. I'm just putting information out there. I'm not speculating. So when I log into my Tana account, I will say it is one more of the aesthetically pleasing websites and it does look like a pretty cool vibe. Uh, it is very smart that they uh, put some examples in here with ChatGPT and Dali and Codex. But just getting started in here, we'll see that they try to make the claim that you know, if you go on their website, it's a little bit like Obsidian, Notion, it's got this cool view right here. And I do genuinely wanna see whether they can live up to his expectations because those of you that do know, the pricing on this will eventually be $100 a year or $10 a month after a 45 day free trial. So just starting on the first note here we do slash we'll see that nothing happens so i gotta learn control k is actually what ends up prompting you to be able to do some things so no there is not an application for this yes you just have to log into your web browser and you'll see that there are a bunch of different options here so control shift and backspace control shift backspace deletes a node okay so if i had more typed out control shift backspace that's a good little feature there and if i do control k we actually have the ability to do a search for find nodes based off of different things. So there's tags, fields, text, created and relative date and date. So within here, let's see if I click on this guy, this is the calendar and my account was created on the 49th week of the year. So it's kind of like showcasing each day within it like this, which is a very interesting vibe. And it starts off with a default workspace, but I am curious what you can do from like a multiple workspace setting perspective. So if I press plus here, press create workspace, I'll do rise productive. And I can invite team members after creating the workspace as long as they already have an account, which is kind of cool. And so now that we have this new rise productive workspace, in order to get started here on this plus sign, you'll see that just like with what I was doing earlier, it's like if I start typing, it creates like a bullet. But if I get rid of it and it's just blank like this, I can insert a field. So a field would be Okay, so let's do date. All right, so this is a little different and kind of just looks like a mix between like markdown and database functionality at the same time. So I can put like a date and then it has different system dates. Okay, so let's do a calendar date. All right, uh, checkbox, do another one here. If I do insert field and do checkbox status. I'm a little confused here. So S, okay, so we got system fields, we got tags. Okay, system field for the tags of a node. So I have an empty list here. Okay, let's keep creating more fields. Insert field, number of references. Okay, that makes sense. Number of times this has been referenced. Nodes, all right. Insert field. This is just giving you reference information based off what you're gonna type out, sort of. Okay, this workspace would be rise productive. That does make sense. And then that workspace, oh, that's kind of interesting showing this here. All right, you see over on the right, it shows that these are computed values. Eh, that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna remove this workspace one because it's just weird. But let's see the rest of these fields here. Created time makes sense. Calendar date, due date, last modified by, all right, by me, yeah. Last modified by time, number of references. And right, so this is, um, this is interesting. I made a bunch of different fields. So now if I like hashtag, I add a super tag of this is my first note using Tana. And then I can do a hashtag brain for like a second brain system. Okay. So now we can see, interesting. We also press this. We can make it a checkbox as an option. So either you can press enter or you can press control enter, which makes it a check off box, which is new. Okay. So this dot's almost like the six dots in Notion. And if you want to indent, you can press this arrow here and make stuff beneath it so you can make another field here. What a weird vibe this is. It's like cool, but uncool at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. So then if we go create search node here, you see that we're actually able to do like full expression searches within the software. And like, for example, if I search at, I can either do the date or the people or the nodes right press your nodes or I can do the hashtag brain and then run once and you'll see it runs those. So if I had like multiple of these, let's do a couple more enters here. Um, yeah, my first note, I'm using Tana at Dimitri. Okay, at Dimitri does not 
have a hashtag brain and do another one. Uh, we'll enter here, which is weird, by the way. The, the tags are appended at the end. They can't be like in the middle, which is a little odd, but fine. There is nothing wrong with my brain. Okay, now you'll see here with this search node, I'm gonna search it again and it's gonna give me all these. But if I do brain and at Dimitri, then only, this is really weird. Okay, that, that, that and logic didn't work. Hashtag brain at Dimitri. So you can do both here, run once. Doesn't seem to be working. So we can go back in here and press it again on the live query. So it kind of is like a weird, I got database setups. So okay, well, let's just do this. So let's just do hashtag brain. Then if we click on the toggle here, we'll open up the stuff for the tag. So like, this is intriguing. All right, now, I'm, now we're getting somewhere. So we can have this show as a checkbox. Okay, all right. Map checkbox state to field value, map to date. What the, there's a, all right. When they say these are something else, they really are something else. This is very intriguing. And if we go here, we delete the entire tag. So. This is something interesting where you can essentially write a description to it, change the color across the entire system, map check to other items here. Okay, a little template action too, okay. So new field, interesting. So tags are really the crux of this and it's like a schema situation. I do like that. Um, it's, got, it's got the side peak view here. You, you can do full width view here. Uh, it's sort of like up to you how you wanna look at it. But wow, that is that's pretty interesting here. I do not want to show that as a checkbox, but wow. Now, if we do look once again at this whole, all the people, all the ones that have a brain, let me run this. You can see we can view it either as a list or a table or cards. So in theory, this could be used for project, task, or note management. Very interesting. And then if we exit out of that view, you'll see that it just shows up right here and then you can just change the view. Interesting, so I do like the fact that there's live queries here. Um, you can uh, group these um, and build Kanban views as well. You can filter or add new items by pressing add here. So it would like add it with the brain function in there. Same if you're here, you can just add more within it by typing in and pressing enter. The same with the table. You can also add different fields here, example. Field. Interesting. Well, this is a weird way to look at databases, but I kind of like it. Done? No? Done time? No result? Turn this into a checkbox. Press control check. You'll see, even if the checkbox isn't showing it, it does it. So that's interesting. So it has a predefined set of fields as well for these different columns. Workspace, obviously. I don't know how I feel about this app. You can quick add at the top here. So make a new hashtag task. Okay, so that made a new tag. And you can add it to today. We do at today. Sure. Press enter here. He has mul add multiple ones evidently. Very interesting. So where did that go? It adds it to today. If we go here, there's a little today view. It's like your daily scratch pad. You can change calendars here. Okay. So this calendar is the default one that's in the system and is in the system over here as well. Once you make a new workspace. Now the question is, how do I graph this? So first and foremost, if I go here, take any of these different items here, this nodes, and pin a node evidently by dragging it. Click in there, drag in here. That's kind of intriguing. Not sure why you would, but hey, you can do multi selects here by dragging over this just like you could in Notion. And then move this over here, I think. So that's what a, yeah, what a pseudo obsidian pseudo Notion vibe. Search here, I wonder if it's pretty good. I'm guessing hashtag brain will work pretty well. Uh, let's do another one. There is nothing. Yeah, it looks like it's not bad. There, create a search. You can refine and edit the results here and then it turns into a table. I do kind of like the way that works. Yeah, it definitely is a better search feature than what Notion's got. The learning curve on this application seems to be pretty big. Maybe it's just like what I was feeling when I started with Notion, but I will say if someone's looking into this application, I don't, I don't know, I wanna say it's like crazy advanced. I mean, it definitely could be, but there's definitely a learning curve associated to it. So if I'm you and considering using Tana, mess around with that on the side and learn about it beforehand. If you're interested at all in me making more videos, that's why I did this more basic, like me figuring out what it was video in the first place. And I will make more videos on it if you guys are interested. But uh, to me, it doesn't look that enticing because I don't think like this, but others definitely might. Just like you might think like how I thought in this video on how to improve your productivity, even more.